Hey guys, it's me, Professor Brilliant. Today is another Lego video. So today is Professor, not Professor Brilliant, but AKA Brick Builder Ant. And for a bonus fact, I made a Lego me. So since I'm Professor Brilliant, I must look like a professor. So I have this dark blue trousers, which I'm now wearing and this Professor Torso, because it's in my name, Professor Brilliant. And I use these woody hands and along with these black hands to because you can actually see that my legs actually touch my almost touch my these parts of the legs. So I think this is, makes sense for my body. But today it's gonna I'm gonna be making two very famous characters. Oh they're in this other table. So So here are some blue pieces with yellow. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to guess what I'm going to make. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, I guess I'll show you the answer on who I'm going to make. And it's... Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy is a character which Lego have never made, but Lepen has made it from Poppy Playtime. And... And Huggy has a sis has two sisters and three brothers and this is not actually Lego. This is Mega Blocks or Lepen. So to build one, I'm gonna you I let me let me let so while well, I'm gonna build it, so we're first gonna need two of these yellow two by three bricks, then put them just on these studs like this. And I'm gonna use an illegal building technique. One by two, one by six plate in blue and attaching them between the sides. Please do not call the cops because this is an illegal building technique. Then take a one by two, one by four blue brick plate behind the legs. Then take this brick Take this strange plate with studs on the side, which you can actually do some cool tricks. And you may not guess what these tricks are. If you use, if you can actually do a, you can actually use a kung fu trick with it, by like the kung fu kick or the karate kick using this using this place and putting it between the two by the one by six blue plate and with a one by two blue brick like this we're going to use these jagged edged two one by two brick with two to make the fuzziness and it's really nice to hear and you can also do it on the side and you can now we're gonna put this snot one by four snot brick or one by four s for studs n for knot and t for top bricks you see look these are studs which are not on the top i copied this answer from b3 the b3 who's another youtuber go subscribe to his channel and I heard the illegal building techniques from TD Bricks, so go give him some subscribers. And now I'm going. And now these strange hinge pieces work like like this. You put one like this, and the other one the you have another the same one, but this time facing downwards. Right. Hold 
well, it's not working. So let me just fix this. Well, let me just drop everything down here so I can focus on what I'm trying to do. Ah, there we go. Now I'll just take them from here so just put it this one here and like this. Now we're gonna attach this ten by one by ten blue plate like big behind these hinge pieces so you can actually make the part where Huggy Wuggy waves to like in the images. See? See what I'm talking about, right? Like this. But why but why is his name Huggy Wuggy? I I have a solution. He likes to hug. That's what his name's for. Now going back to his siblings, these the red and green and black one are all named Huggies, while the purple and the pink one are both named Kissies because they like to kiss. Silly names, but oh well. And now we're going to attach these two Lego bricks with this holes in the side so you can attach this thing like this so you can attach some things now let's work on the head it was a bit challenging but i think i could i can remember how i built his head Was to make it with to make its collar, you you use these yellow studs, put it on top of the the neck, and these white ones with holes, so you can attach the whole part against this one by two plate, one by one by three plate and blow from these little holes here like this. Now I'm gonna use this brick with one snot and one other snot at the front. For why reason? Watch. I'm gonna have no choice but to use a green one because I don't own one in blue. And aside, and you do know Lego glizzies, right? Lego glizzies means Lego hot dogs or sausage, which I quite like and the Lego Mini also approved, but aside to feeding it to the minifigures, you can also use it as a mouth, and you can also use it as a Lego AK-47, but I'm not going to show you today. Now I'm going to use another one of these, and this one by one one, after just putting this piece here and like this. Hold on, I think I'm in. Just put the like this instead. That's better. Like this. And these little jagged edge pieces go on top of those ears that you see on Huggy's head. And I did two more jagged edge pieces and two more of these one by three plates place in blue, like this. And finally, you usually see these pieces almost at every creator set. Well, I'm gonna attach them on.
There we go. So that's Huggy Wuggy Dan. But now let's make one of my personal favorite monsters. And that's going to be someone that who has two metallic sirens on his head. Who has two metallic sirens on his head. And when he walks, he, he makes siren noises like this. Okay, so that's none other than Siren Head. Lego does release Siren Head actually, but for a whopping, but for a whopping, but for a whopping 2,866 yen. But let's attempt to make Siren Head in, Le but I'm gonna make Siren Head in Lego anyway. So I copied this, my Siren Head design from another you from this YouTuber. Wait, he's not really a YouTuber actually. He's not really a YouTuber, but he copied his design anyway. His design uses these strange hinge pieces. Hold on, let me just change the screen a bit. Using these hinge pieces that you put attached to each other to make this really cool thing. So let's start building. I'm gonna use the skeleton legs. I'm just gonna place them down onto this way. Using just two of the using two of these. And by attaching these bra these brown stick pieces in, and just and using this piece and using the same pieces. You can, and just using these two special ones, also the strange one, except with a clip on the edge, using these black ones, black stick pieces in, you, and using more of these strange studs with bricks, with clip. And using this skeleton body, which I own from another one of my creator sets from the castle set. And also using these special pieces again. And by using these gray stick pieces like this, you attach it like in here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't make a pose. I'll just. Rebuild again in just a different shade of color. Oh. So like this and Just taking two of these pieces, which I use for the arms. When using more of these cylinder pieces with clips, or should I say with bars?
and we have more gray stick pieces. And more of these bar pieces. And by using these extra smaller stick pieces, which I cut with the scissors, which is also quite illegal, just put them in like this. And do the same for the other side. And now for the siren part. The siren part, I didn't take the build from the, I didn't take the build, the build designing of the siren from this clever YouTuber. I took the, I, not a huge, I took the idea from this person, this guy. I actually watch his videos more often. How to build Lego Siren Head tutorial. But, but I can actually build, so that's where I copied it using this cone piece. These, these strange pieces, which you can use as a, as a, well, a mayonnaise bottle and just putting these cylinder cones on and boom, we've got Siren Head. But Siren Head can do a lot of things like If you do this, it, it looks like a reference to the video Morphle Siren Head. And place it with Huggy. That's like a little, and, and I actually built these two before. So I built it, made this video after, after I disintegrated them. And I usually play fight with them. So let me show you what I usually play fight with. <laughs> And also, sometimes I make Siren Head's mouth, Siren Head, hold on to Huggy like this. And like tearing him apart. Like this. Oh no, and I lost Siren Head's on. And got to punish, and since Siren Head got destroyed, I'm also going to destroy his leg like this. But Siren Head's body can regenerate. I mean, in a video, Siren Head's body can grow back. But unlike Huggies, no, but not like Huggies. And in the videos, Huggy, no, I mean, Siren Head's left hands usually touch his feet. And I actually did it. I actually could make Siren Head's arms reach his feet. So, this was Professor Brilliant again. Thanks for watching me build Huggy Wuggy and Siren Head. Bye.